The Honourable Member for Cape Breton Centre. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, my question is for the Minister of Labour and Advanced Education. Nova Scotia is the only province in Canada with a separate minimum wage for inexperienced employees. While other provinces have separate minimum wages for liquor servers, home workers, security guards, live-in camp leaders, and other specific occupations, no other province imposes a three-month probationary period on all employees who are new to an industry. Mr. Speaker, when no other province imposes a blanket policy like this one, why is Nova Scotia leading the way in wage discrimination? The Honourable Minister of Labour. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It gives me pleasure to rise and to explain uh, the 50 cent differential we have for inexperienced workers. It lasts three months, Mr. Speaker, because that is uh, the period that we look at for a worker to gain some experience on the job. The member brings up what other provinces do, and what they do is they have differentials of 80 cents or one dollar, which targets the liquor servers, which targets uh, youth. And Mr. Speaker, I will add that in those differentials, that differential always remains. In the process we have in Nova Scotia, which we have currently, which we had under the NDP government, which we had under the Conservative government, is a very small amount that the employer would save, which would amount to about $240 over three months. Um, and what that is, is to assist the employer to pay for training costs, to actually have job shadowing for that employee, and to allow that employee to gain the skills in their first job so they can move on and have more employment and have more income. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Cape Breton Centre. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and what a perfect segue into my next question. Mr. Speaker, we're worried that low-wage workers, and especially young workers, are being taken advantage of by this policy. Those moving back and forth from their home communities to go to college or university are particularly vulnerable. We've heard stories of young workers who, having worked for years at a McDonald's in Sydney, are told by their new employers at a McDonald's in Halifax that they will pay, be paid the inexperienced rate. If employers want to reduce costs associated with training new workers, the department could provide assistance to help them make business decisions to reduce that turnover rather than passing those costs on to the workers. Mr. Speaker, will the minister commit to ending the, the discriminatory, inexperienced minimum wage now? The Honourable Minister of Labour. So, Mr. Speaker, um, what I would uh, say to the member is that if any employee is working at a McDonald's for three months and goes to another McDonald's or goes to a Wendy's or a Harvey's or anything in a fast food industry, after three months at one organization, even if they go to a completely separate company, they cannot be paid the inexperienced worker rate. So what I would say is that if that practice is happening, those companies are breaking the labour laws in Nova Scotia and that employee should report them to the department and we will investigate and that employee will be owed back wages. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. 